So if you're watching this video right now, it is the 4th of October, 2021, which means this is the first week of the last month of the last quarter of 2021. So what does that really mean? Now that I reminded you what day and time it was, what does it really mean for us in solar, us in coaching, us in any type of business? Well, it means that you gotta focus on getting things done before the end of the year. Because you know you wanna meet that quota, you wanna get that bonus, you wanna get that commission, you wanna reach those revenue targets. So what are you gonna do? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna focus on things you can control. Stop worrying about politics and stop worrying about what cat videos you're watching, stop worrying about what influencer you like on social media. Oh, by the way, if you are watching this, right now, Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp are down. Hallelujah. So what does that do? That gives you some focus time to work on the things you know you need to do. So one is focus on things you can't control. And what can you control? You can control what's in your pipeline. I want you to think about the 80-20 rule. Focus on the 20% of the deals that are gonna give you 80% of the revenue and the deals that have the highest likelihood of closing so you can tip them, tip them into the winning column. Second thing I want you to do is, and this is gonna be a little controversial and I'm sure people are gonna get a little uneasy with what I'm about to say is, get in front of your client. Don't do a Zoom call, don't do a Google Meet, don't use whatever video flavor of the day. I want you to get in your car, get in an Uber, walk, drive, pedal, scooter, get in front of your client. And I want you to do two things. Remind them of the urgency of getting things done before the end of the year. Not your urgency, but their urgency. So if you're in solar and you're trying to get them to think about taking control of their operational expenses, why it's important to get solar at the end of the year because you wanna control operational expenses. Also, you wanna take advantage of those tax incentives. And maybe there's some other reasons, but those are two big reasons. And the other reason is there's no time like the present. You know, 97% of people procrastinate because they don't like to make decisions. So you have to compel your customers to make a decision. And you do that with being a trusted advisor, adding value and compelling them to make the decision you know they need to make and they need to make for themselves. So I hope this was helpful. And yeah, maybe Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp will be back, but don't think about that. Think about what you can do right now to compel your customers to choose you, why they should choose you, get it done, go get that deal closed, go get in front of customers, and let me know what you think. If you found this helpful, subscribe. If you found it helpful, share it out with someone who needs it. Thanks so much, have yourself a fantastic day. Good luck on Q4.